Hey, what's up guys? Fabio here once again. I want to welcome everybody back to another video. And today will be the last of the Eddie Murphy videos for now. Um, and today I will be talking about, I figured I'd save it for last. Um, I will be talking about when Eddie Murphy was on SNL. Um, again, you can't, at least in my opinion, you can't really talk about Eddie Murphy without mentioning him on Saturday Night Live. Uh, he was a big, uh, huge part, actually, of Saturday Night Live because he's basically the guy that saved Saturday Night Live. And, you know, he had a great run when he was on, and uh, back at Christmas he actually guest starred, and it was great to, uh, to see him back on there. And, again, you know, <clears throat> he was, you can't, like, it's like talking about Arnold Schwarzenegger and not mentioning the Terminator. You have to do it if you're talking about Eddie Murphy. Um, he was, I believe, I believe he was still the youngest person to ever be on Saturday Night Live. Eddie started when he was 19 years old, so way, way back in the early 80s now. Um, and he was instrumental in Saturday Night Live. He was very instrumental in keeping Saturday Night Live going. Um, because at the time, all the original cast members had left. They were kind of down to the dumps a little bit. Things weren't working out. But when Eddie Murphy came in, the show kind of skyrocketed. And he was really the first guy, one of the first guys, because uh, that used, you know, besides the original cast, he was one of the first people that, use Saturday Night Live as a launching pad to a much, much bigger career. You know, again, the you have to look at the original cast members. Uh, you know, Dan Aykroyd, John Belushi, uh, even though Bill Murray was not one of the original cast members, Bill Murray, Chevy Chase, they all launched further because of Saturday Night Live. And Eddie Murphy was kind of like the next guy to do that. You know, after that original group, Eddie Murphy was the next guy. And then, of course, it was Chris Farley and David Spade and Adam Sandler and Chris Rock and Mike Myers and then Will Ferrell and Jimmy Fallon and so on and so forth. So, <clears throat> excuse me, you know, Saturday Night Live uh, is definitely one of those, especially in comedy, is definitely one of those shows where people have had a longevity and, and a career. And Eddie Murphy was... You know, honestly, Eddie Murphy was and Adam Sandler were probably the biggest ones to do it. And Bill Murray uh, were probably the three biggest people that are still working today that, you know, use Saturday Night Live as kind of that launching pad. But when Eddie came onto the show, uh, things were not looking good. But, you know, he came in and he saved it. And he had a lot of great characters and impersonations over the years. That people, you know, 40 years later almost are still talking about. You know, people are still talking about, you know, Gumby. I'm Gumby, damn it. I want the cigar. You know, and Velvet Jones, you know, School of Technology. How to be a hoe. And Buckwheat, you know, when he would come out and just sing these songs horribly. And, you know, of course, Mr. Robinson's Neighborhood. Uh, you know, people are still talking about that. You know what the word today is, kids? You know, squatters' rights, which is one he was just on uh, back in, <clears throat> excuse me, back around Christmas time. Um, but, you know, just wonderful characters that people are still, again, you know, 40 some years later, people are still talking about. Um, and, uh, again, when he guest hosted, he brought a lot of those characters back. And I had not, I have not watched. Saturday Night Live in many years it's 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 it is what it is now it's it's definitely not as funny as it used to be and you know it is uh become very politically driven which I'm not a big fan of that type of humor to be honest but you know it's definitely not what it used to be but when I heard that Eddie Murphy was guest hosting of course I wanted to see it now I didn't watch the entire episode but I did see you know, I saw the Gumby skit, Mr. Robinson's Neighborhood. Uh, they had Black Jeopardy and Velvet Jones was on there. You know, there was a lot of 
really funny stuff on there. Still, to this day, I mean, again, you know, I mean, look at how many people have come back to SNL as the host, as the guest host. And yeah, there might have been some funny stuff here and there, but no one ever really talks about that. You know, oh, when Mike Myers came back to guest host, how amazing it was. Like, okay, it worked. It was funny. They did some cool stuff. But I think when Eddie came back, because Eddie <clears throat> had not been on the show in, in, you know, 30 some years. And, you know, being that he is Eddie Murphy, it was great to, to have him come back and, and do all these old characters. It's something I think people would wanted to see for a very long time because I do know when they did the uh the fortieth anniversary a number of years ago now, um Eddie got up and talked a little bit, but I think people were expecting him to, you know, bring back characters and do all this different stuff. <sighs> Excuse me, but or, you know, just go off on a on a tangent like he would do, but it didn't happen. And I think people were kind of disappointed in that. But, you know, it was great to see him come back and have him up there with Chappelle and Chris Rock and Tracy Morgan and, and all these, you know, great black comedians. It was great to see them all on the same stage together. And then, of course, all the skits like the Gumby skit where he broke character and he just jumped right back into it. And I mean, there were parts where he was forgetting his lines, but he just roll with it like it was really great to see eddie uh back on saturday night live it was very very cool um but going back to the the original run i mean you know eddie i believe is the only cast member to be a host while still being a cast member of course when 48 hours came out he was the the host but he was still a member of the cast and I, again i believe he's the only cast member to ever do that if i'm not mistaken don't quote me but I believe that is true. Um, but even some of the, the lesser known stuff that he did, like White Like Me was great when he dressed up like a white guy and he went on the bus. And after the other black guy got off, they're like partying and drinking. That was really funny. Of course, uh, you know, James Brown's uh, celebrity hot tub. Oh, it's hot. I can't go in. Like that, you know, just great stuff. You know, wonderful, wonderful characters that Eddie brought to us. You know, when he was the Academy Award, you know, well, who are you? I'm for Best Actress. Best Actress. Well, I'm going home with uh, Jessica Lange, so there's that. Or Meryl Streep. I'm going to grab onto her chest. Um, You know, just even, like, the skit he did with John Elway was funny. Um, When he was Stevie Wonder and Joe Piscopo was Frank Sinatra. I mean, that stuff was just absolutely hilarious. But again... You know, all the, the impressions and the characters that he did, just wonderful stuff. I mean, there was just wonderful, you know, again, Mr. Robinson's Neighborhood. Mr. Rogers, was a, it was a parody of that. And Mr. Rogers loved it. You know, he saw it and he absolutely loved it. He thought it was hilarious. You know, so that's really cool. Um, you know, I know Eddie got some heat when he did the, the he talked like Bill Cosby and he made a joke about Bill Cosby. But it was in good fun. All he said was, you know, if somebody told me 30 years ago that, you know, I would be the stay-at-home dad and Bill Cosby would be in prison, I would have left. But it wasn't it wasn't anything derogatory. You know, it's whatever. And I know Bill Cosby got really pissed about that, but who cares? In my opinion, I mean, again, it wasn't like it was a personal thing. It was just a joke. It's just a sense of humor. Calm down. You know, people getting all butthurt about it. But, yeah, whatever. I mean, that's just, I know, again, people got upset about it, but it is what it is. But, yeah, I mean, I could sit here all day and just talk about every character that he did and every skit that he did. But then this video would be multiple hours. Uh, the best way to experience it, in my opinion, is to get out there and find uh, the skits and the episodes. I mean, most of them you should be able to find online. Um, but Eddie Murphy is definitely one of the greatest Saturday Night Live cast members without a shadow of a doubt. A lot of great characters and, and skits and impersonations and all this stuff that he did for the show. He saved the show, which is great. 
And yeah, I mean, all these years later, you know, almost 40 years later, people are still talking about him on the show and the characters and everything. So that's pretty, pretty badass, at least in my opinion. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, next, we will get jump right into the Chuck Norris stuff. I will be doing a little kickoff video, and then we're going to just go ahead and get into the Chuck Norris movie reviews. So until the next time, as always, thank you guys for watching. Take care. I'll talk to you guys later. See you.